Okay, so this is my first drive <clears throat> with the numeric short shifter. I just installed it yesterday. It, uh, it rained all day, so I wasn't able to take it out. The installation was kind of um, kind of difficult. Not impossible, but uh, difficult. Wasn't easy, that's for sure. Still getting used to this short throw. It definitely feels like super notchy. The other thing I did was um, I changed my engine motor mounts uh, to red lines and I'm using the blue uh, bushings. Which is the sport bushing I believe. Sport. And um, there's definitely more vibration. At the same time I also uh, changed the or I installed the Function first uh, transmission mount, and uh, that's adding some vibration, which is fine for the most part. It it is a higher vibration, so I kind of wish it was a lower vibration, but nonetheless, it's uh, it's fine. I think that people who have complained about the the amount of NVH that the motor mounts add and transmission mount. I think it's it's because they're just used to this car being super quiet. Anyways, let's go back to the uh, American short trip here. It's uh it's really tight, it feels nice. Super notchy. Like I said the install wasn't uh wasn't super easy. There's a lot of little things that that you have to consider so I watched a couple videos on um, on the install. There's some that are out from the American and then some independent YouTubers. Of the two main ones that seem to have it for the uh, 987.2. Uh, one guy who didn't really show that much, but he actually was like at the end was like, you know, if you're if you're used to working on your car and um, doing more advanced stuff it shouldn't be that big of a deal but if you're just used to um, doing stuff like uh, oil changes and stuff like that it is uh, it is a little bit difficult and I would agree it's not uh, it's not for your basic type of person it's uh, it's a little bit more advanced than that but hopefully with the uh, the video that I shot you can uh, get a sense for it and, um, and see if you want to tackle it. It's definitely worth it, I think. The cables, uh, like I said in my summary video, I'm not sure if I'll post that, but I have a summary of my thoughts on the install. That was right after I installed it. Um, I think the cables are too long, but... I don't know, maybe they have one set of cables and they they use it for multiple cars, but I feel like there's too much of a bed in the cables, which may or may not be by design. I don't know if there's a benefit, but it was it was um, a feature that made it more difficult to install. All right, so overall, I think it's, uh, it's an improvement. I was kind of afraid that it wouldn't be that much of an improvement. I wouldn't notice the difference. It's huge. There's two factors. The fact how stiff it is, like how notchy. It feels nice and tight. There's no slop. There's no play. And then there's the the shortness of the throw. The actual shortness. I'm assuming the height is lower. Um, I also like the fact that you can adjust more or less where the shifter just sit, sits like in its position. Either angled back, back towards you or straight up. So I had it angled a little bit back towards me. I'm not sure how that's going to look with everything. I have it all kind of, you know, whatever, not put back because I want to make sure everything is, is functioning correctly. 
and then um, and then go ahead and put it all back. But overall, uh, I think it was a great upgrade. So, anyways, I, I'd recommend it. Um, I think it's a good um, good upgrade. Obviously, I can't uh, I can't articulate my thoughts all that well. I'm trying to do too many things at one time. This car is is not that familiar to me because I haven't driven it that much, and I've been driving the uh, the 928. Uh, so it's finally kind of getting up to temperature. There's a little bit of play, uh, and I determined where it was coming from, and that's not really an issue. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, overall, it's the upgrades that I've done so far, I'm pretty happy with it.